Welcome back friends, this is Fraser from FTR Studio. Today we are going to dive into the non-linear pen deformer in Maya. A simple yet very powerful tool to create awesome curved shapes. So let's get started. First, create any basic object. So we'll take a cube first and add some subdivisions to get smooth deformation. We'll duplicate the cube and move this cube away for a moment. We'll take this and we'll flatten it to form a plank. So it will be flat and long so that we can understand how the bend deformer works on this shape. Next we'll take a cylinder and see how the bend deformer works on a cylinder as well. Starting off with the plank, now let's apply the bend deformer. For that, go to the deformers menu, scroll down to the non-linear, here choose the first option which is the bend and boom, a bend handle appears. But wait, it's not doing anything yet. If you go to the channel box, under the input nodes, you'll get the bend one deformer node. If you click on that, you'll find its attributes. The first one, curvature. If you select the curvature node and just scroll with the middle mouse on the screen, this basically controls how much the object bends. Positive bends in one way and negative bends in the other. Next, let's try playing with a few more attributes. Scrolling up channel box, let's try out with the rotate first. If you turn the angle of the bend handle, turning them into 90 degrees or minus 90 degree based on your axis of rotation and then use the curvature, you can see this provides you with various different options to bend the shape. Coming to the next attribute, so the low bound basically defines one side of the bend deformer handle and the high bound is for the other side. So basically this defines where the bend is going to start or where it's going to stop depending on the position of the bend handle. Rotating the bend handle in Y will make the rotation in another direction. Same time you can use combinations of bends and change the angles of the bend handle to get various results. Now moving on to the next shapes, let's try the bend deformer with a cylinder now. The bend deformer for the cylinder is created within the mesh. Again going to its attributes in the channel box, if you play with the curvature, you can see that is forming a ring if you compete it to 180 degree. If you go to the negative direction, you will see the curve is in the opposite direction. You can play the, with the low bound and the high bound in this case as well. So that will provide you with an upper limit and a lower limit. Giving zero value to the low bound will not affect the mesh from the lower half. Whereas if you get the high bound to zero, you see the upper half of the mesh becomes static. So this way you can play with various shapes and various attributes of the bend deformer as well as the transforms like move, rotate as well as scale to get various types of shapes of your desired object or mesh. In order to create leaves, in order to create uh, bend arcs, arches, whatever you want. You can create wavy motion as well with it. Hope friends you liked this tutorial. You got some tips and valuable information for this deformer. In the previous one, we have already covered the flare deformer. See in the next tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll be working on the next nonlinear deformer. Till then, take care. Bye bye and keep arting.